How's it going, people? What's up? So, uh, today, I had decided, even before today, because I knew I'd have extra cash, that, um, I was going to get something. You guys want to know what I got? It's actually really cool. Got my fingers done. Whoop, whoop. Coexist. I also got my other live and love fixed up. Those ones are still bleeding though. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I am so excited. So, today I thought we'd talk about tattoos. Anybody out there a fan of tattoos? Most likely. I'd like to think I'm not the only one in the world that actually likes tattoos. That's a joke, obviously. So, uh, since everybody out there, well, not everybody, since a lot of people out there, you know, like tattoos, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there have actually gotten a tattoo, um, right? <clears throat> let's talk about, well, let's talk about it. Okay, so first of all, if you've ever gotten a big tattoo, I'm pretty sure you know that after a while the pain gets pretty bad, you know? Your body starts to go into a, well, pretty much your body can no longer take the pain, and so it goes into that whole, oh, great, I'm bleeding. That was not what it goes into. One moment. Un momento. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, so, um, yeah, so your body goes into, <laughs> um, I'm a little ADD, just like to inform you guys, I apologize if I get distracted easily. Anyways, your body goes into that whole, you know, it starts to, uh, clench and it can't take any more pain and blah blah blah. I have a tattoo on my back actually that um, was a six hour tattoo. My back is actually very 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 sensitive as is but when you sit there for six hours with a needle going in it I'm, okay so it wasn't the whole six hours that I was sitting there because I would smoke a cigarette every now and again or whatever back then but um, actually I didn't take that many breaks. Now that I think about it Pretty sure I did the whole six hours. Anyways, your body goes into this place where even just the slightest touch makes it hurt. Um, I didn't have that happen with these. Um, but I did have that happen with my back and my knee. I have a knee tattoo. And I don't know if you've ever gotten a knee tattoo. And if you have, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But the knee is... Even if you've never gotten it, I'm pretty sure you know this. It's painful. It's painful. I actually had numbing cream on my knee, and uh, it still was excruciating. Uh, yeah, that was a fun time. Um, pretty sure I screamed a few times. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting day, to say the least. But that one didn't last as long as my back. And I have a weak back. I have uh, issues, whatever. Not really. Um, not really issues. We won't call it issues. But um, you know, I do have some uh, pain in my back. So you know, as is, it's already pretty weak. But yeah, six hours. That was that was intense. Um, and also, I went back and got some more another time, and I think I only lasted about two hours that time. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I've gotten my side done. Um, my side, I though, 
I was at a time in my life when I was actually doing drugs, so I was actually on some at the time. Not a good idea, by the way, because just so you know, if you are on drugs, alcohol, even smoking pot, um, it actually makes you feel more. Um, the alcohol makes you bleed more and also pushes the ink out, so that's why they require that you don't come in drunk other than the fact that maybe you're making a mistake. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things that go into it. Um, pot makes you feel it more. Um, instead of actually making you feel it less, you're more in tune with feeling it. I can promise you this. Um, I think just about the only drug that you could probably take that wouldn't do anything is like a pain medicine. And, um, well, sometimes those have blood thinners in them too, so then they make you bleed more, so complications, really, you should probably just not do any of that. But anyways, my side hurt. Um, and already, sides hurt. They hurt a lot. And um, with that, it hurt even more. Um, got my most painful tattoo, though. And it's going to sound really weird because you're thinking, well, that's really small, and why is that the most painful? It's not the most painful because of how long it took or, you know, any of that. It's the most painful because of where it's located. And it is on the knuckle of my toe. I have a little heart on the knuckle of my toe. And it actually literally went over this part a little bit. Actually, a lot of it because it's a small toe and it's not a very big area for them to just go over that. So, about the arches. Both of them go over the little knuckle thing right there. <clears throat> and that was painful. That was really painful. Yes, actually, today, this one right here went over that knuckle area and it reminded me of that pain I felt on my toe. <sighs> just the memories, just the memories. Actually, every single one of my, my tattoos has a, a story, a memory, and a reason. And it's fun to talk about them because, honestly, isn't that why we get them in the first place? Pretty much. <clears throat> Unless you're getting, you know, those simple tattoos that a lot of people get that they just get to get a tattoo. Which is, you know, cool, whatever you want to do. Um... But if you are someone who has tattoos all over like I do, you definitely have a story for every single one. And actually, I'm going to tell you a story that actually tells the story of all my tattoos, for the most part. See this one right here? It's not finished, this arms right here. This is actually going to eventually connect. That's my next tattoo that I'm going to get fixed up. But this right here says freedom, okay? And this is all connected, obviously. So what my tattoo right here represents is the freedom to be myself. Um, and every tattoo I have represents me. So it's kind of like bridging into myself. And it's allowing me to just be me. It's a really um, hard to explain sometimes because the original idea was that this was going to be a glove. And actually that's why I have... Not that one. This one right here. So it was going to be a glove, and this was like my mask that I put on of, you know, pretend, not really pretending, but, you know, what I might display before someone actually knows the full me. Um, how do you explain that in a way that it is like, you know, putting on a good face for everyone else? Um, before you actually uh, not really display your true colors because I'm not one of those people who's going to sit there and pretend to be nice to you if I don't want to because that's not me at all. If if I feel like I need to stand up to something or anything like that, I'm, I'm going to do that. But my emotions and things like that, I'm not going to necessarily express them right away. And you're not going to necessarily know my whole story right off the bat either. So it's it's like a mask of 
everything else like that. So emotions, my whole story, blah, blah, blah. So that was the original idea, and now I'm going to get that covered up because I actually found this idea, and I really liked it. Um, I added the freedom to it. But um, it's like, you know, being able to truly be myself. And so my tattoos represent me and blah, blah, blah. You get the idea, right? I'm pretty sure you get the idea. I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I have a lot of really great stories for my tattoos. And sometimes, you know, you just sit there and reminisce on things. And I love it when people ask. Um, I won't always tell every single one because there are certain ones that that story has to be earned. And, I mean... You know, that's cool, right? You can't you can't go around telling everyone everything. You can't. Um, but uh, for the most part, I'll be like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, like uh, my live and my love. I actually did not get them to say live love. My reasoning for that was a reminder to live and a reminder to love. And not just love myself, because that was really the main reason for it. I was at a time in my life where... I really, I needed that reminder to live, and I needed that reminder to love myself. But when it comes down to it, it was also a reminder to love others, because when you don't love yourself, you don't love others. He finally gets on camera with me. I'm hungry. Let's go get some Chinese food. Chinese food? From Chef Bo. Why Chef Bo? Why do you always go to Chef Bo? Because it's quick and they're good. So, as she was saying, um, <laughs> she has issues with her foot. I don't know if that was what I was saying. And but sometimes it, sure. it flares up and she just needs to put it, you know, some icy hot on it. Yeah, and so also, what else were you saying? Oh. <laughs> That she decided that she feels that women's rights should be eliminated. <laughs> she what feels the they should be eliminated. Um, and then... I don't know why this you're This coming from a man who's about to be a woman. <laughs> no. Um, what else did you say? Stuff about... She needed to bathe her cat. <laughs> and... That she just can't get around to it because her new job, it doesn't allow time to do so. And <laughs> since the cat's just so dirty. <laughs> the cat's so dirty? It just needs to be, it just has to deal with whatever it has going on in its life because <laughs> she says that everybody has problems. <laughs> so since everybody has problems, the cat should too. That sounds so mean. Well, that's what you said. Can I just say that none of what he just said is true? But we were it just never is. About that. He's never right, and he never ever tells the truth, especially about me. Well, I don't know about that. That's what we were just talking about. That doesn't. But you just said when we were on the car on the way home that you think women's rights should be eliminated. <laughs> I you're, don't know what car you're you were not in. pro feminist. <laughs> I don't know what car you were in. And <laughs> and um, that the cat has to have problems like everybody else. I am about to pee myself right now. <laughs> Let's go get some Chinese food before I want Asian food. <laughs> Wait the fuck? I'm what? sorry. You want... You want to go get Chinese food before you watch your Asian movie. Am I hearing that? Did you guys hear that too? What? I guess he's getting prepared. I don't want Chinese food, Steven. Well, you know, we gotta eat. Yeah, we do have to eat. Does that mean that... Okay, fine. We did just get paid today. How are we getting there? I'm going to pay for Uber. I'm going to? D is, is that what you said? He's not responding. I don't know why I'm paying for Uber. I don't know. Whatever. 
<clears throat> All right. I guess that's it for the video. He finally got on, though. Um, yeah, you guys should hear us sometimes. We're kind of a riot. I've been told we should actually start our own show. Because we're funny. I wasn't actually interacting with him very much in that moment because I was laughing so hard. But normally I'm very sarcastic with him and very much so. We'll, we'll just leave it at sarcastic. It's true. Anyways. Apparently I have to go get Chinese food. I don't know. Maybe I want Chinese food. Maybe I should have Chinese food. Stephen, look what you're doing to me! What? Now I want Chinese food! Yay. I don't even know what to say sometimes. Alright, anyways. I am very much so glad we had this discussion on tattoos, even though Stephen interrupted me. But we'll finish this discussion another day. We will. Because we have plenty of time. And I just want to show them off again. <laughs> They're pretty. Alright. Anyways. I hope you guys like. Subscribe. And all that fun jazz. Ooh, jazz fingers. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> Stay beautiful, everyone. Because you are. And always remember that. Don't listen to him. Peace out.